Hi everyone, welcome to another bass singer, first time reaction and analysis. My name is Peter Barber. I am primarily a professional opera singer, music producer, and of course a bass vocalist. I'm talking really fast because I'm really, 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 really excited about this. This is the most fun I could possibly have doing reaction and analysis videos because this is the new song from the bass gang that is coming out publicly on Monday, which is probably the same day this video will drop. It's currently Friday. We just got it this morning and I'm freaking out. Um, it is so fun to do these. It's especially fun to do these when I don't have as much involvement in the project. So this is Marwan Amon's latest masterpiece. I think it's his best arrangement ever. Um, we had Ed Boyer doing the mixing. He was the audio engineer. We had Dave Sprandio doing the mastering. We had David Locke doing the video editing. So it was like a big team effort. And pretty much, you know, all I did was record my parts for the audio and then shoot my video with the green screen and the costume and everything. But I haven't seen any teasers. I've only heard the audio. So this is just so, so, so exciting from everything I've heard about this video and the video editor we hired. It is really going to be something special. <clears throat> and it's already an absolute banger as far as the audio goes. Marwan absolutely annihilated this arrangement. There's so much crazy bass. We have Lauren Paley herself, the stairwell siren, singing the song that she is so, so famous for now. It's so many good things. So guys, please throw a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel. Comment below for the algorithm. Go watch the original on repeat. And if I am enhancing your listening experience, please consider donating to my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Link is in the description below. Now, when I watch Bass Gang stuff, or if I end up doing these kinds of videos for my own content, um, I will always watch straight through and give a true first time reaction, um, which I don't normally do on other videos. And then I will go back and we'll talk about what's happening musical, which, of course, I do know a lot about because that that part of the process I was heavily um, involved in. <clears throat> it's like once you do it, then it's gone and you can't watch it again for the first time. <laughs> it's so bittersweet. Um, guys, let's do this thing. This is hide and seek by the bass gang featuring Lauren Paley. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Ding dong, I know you can hear me. Open up the door. I only want to play a little. Ding dong, you can keep me waiting. It's already too late. <laughs>
God. What the hell, dude? Jeez. Ding dong. <laughs> oh, man. Some of... Some of, oh, the dubstep section into the underground, like very stranger things. Wow. Bravo, Dylan, for putting this video together. Um, he actually, he had to purchase um, a 3D model that he would then work off. So I, I don't know hardly anything about video editing, especially on this level, but I know that there was a lot of investment into creating the 3D model that he could then place our green screen figures into. Again, this was recorded in Egypt, uh, Brno, Czech Republic. Um, Lauren is in Nashville. I shot this in Philadelphia, and Bobby was in uh, Boston, I believe. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. Um, and we all came together in this haunted house. So... Absolutely phenomenal. I hope you guys wa enjoyed watching my uh, my first time reaction there. Um, let's go back and I'll talk a bit about what is happening musically. Let's start right from the beginning. Ding dong, I know you can hear me. Open up the door. I only want to play a little. So this first bit. Um, if you have a pulse and you're on TikTok, you have seen Lauren sing this song, just like this. It's just her in a stairwell. It's it, the nice reverb acoustic. You guys that follow my stuff, you know, the stair, some stairwells have really great reverby, spacious acoustic atmospheres. Lauren has a great stairwell where she sings. And I think her, her, one of her main, she's done, she's sung this a number of times on TikTok with a number of different creators, like with Melinda and with some other people. I think the, the most popular one has like 50 million views, something like absolutely outrageous. Really, we as humans can't even con conceptualize how many people that actually is. It just becomes a big number. 50 million people. That's like a seventh of the United States or something like that. Um, that's pretty much how we start this off. That's how Marwan started this arrangement. Really just Lauren doing what Lauren has built a huge following doing, which is stairwell siren singing. She is the stairwell siren. That's where we start this off. Super simple. Literally just Lauren's voice with a little bit of like creepy atmospheric stuff happening in the background, but obviously very stripped down. Um, let's back up a few seconds and keep going. She's doing a good job of being like, it's not, it's not the kind of like jump out spooky scary. It's like this like crazy eyes kind of scary. And it, it, it really, she's, she does a, a great job like staring straight into your soul in the best, creepiest way. Bravo, Lauren. Really wonderful. So now the boys come in, Marwan with his insane bass lines as always. Always insanely low, this guy. down to these I'm singing it up an octave down to these F sharp ones and what happens in this first sequence is I think we all sing that pattern or something very similar the three other guys Bobby Tommy Marwan all do it in subs I believe I was the Neanderthal who if not that skilled at subs and had to do it in chest for I and it's pretty obvious it like um, Ed Boyer did a great job mixing it in so it still sounds cohesive but it's like listen to the fourth iteration of that bass line that's me that's me clearly hacking away in chest fry, as opposed to their guys being like perfectly smooth sub harmonics. Chest 
chest fry has a, it has a ton of high harmonic content that subs don't have, so it really cuts through mixes really well. Um, when sung in a a group setting or a choral setting, a thick chest chest fry just sounds like a really resonant chest note. There are some crazy recordings, even from like my undergrad, where you would think like a legit octavist was singing. Kid you not, just because the chest fry has all these upper partials that you get in a re- with good vocal full closure and a low chest note. And it's silly because like I'm nowhere near being able to sing in the octavist range in my chest voice. But with chest with a strong chest fry within a group setting where you can't perfectly hear the, the timbral uh, characteristics of it, it really just sounds like a big, beefy chest voice alone. It sounds different. But I just wanted to point that out because the because of how different the chest fry, even in this professionally mixed soundscape sounds versus the guys using subharmonics. Beyond that, of course, we still have Lauren taking the solo and we have Marwan doing Marwan. uh, His arrangement has all of us, of course, doing bell tones because Marwan is the bell tone god. love this rapid switch out of all of us on the right here. Nuts. I love, that's what's so crazy about this 3D model. It's like, there she is in this like weird cabin style house, right? But then we go forward a few seconds and it's down with Tommy looking up at her as if we like, we're, we're all in this like same landscape I mean, we're all in this 3D model. That's so, so cool. Um, I didn't I didn't realize how epic that aspect of it was going to be. So here we are looking at her here. Then the camera moves and we're looking up the hill at her, but she's still looking this way. So cool. Like that. Amazing. So now we go into this like walking bass on and we have the backgrounds holding more sustained pitches, ooh, like more oohs, ahs, blah, blah, blah. And then also throwing in uh, text as well, which becomes very clear. Marwan is very, very intentional about the when he wants sustained kind of block chords and when he wants the group to jump in and accentuate what's happening textually in the melody. Um, He's really good, really, really good about using certain words in the background to really help accentuate the point of whatever is happening. This is one I hear. I think we all repeat the word find you, Um, right? Very like poignant uh, word choice um, in terms of just like evoking that feeling like gonna find you, right? It's, uh, It's so good. And the beat drops too. Ooh, game and have fun, right? And he also had us do a Marwan had us do a little funky head movement here. <laughs> Look at this. So this whole, if you listen to the background parts, now where have you gone? It's just begun. I that was my part. I think an octave higher than that. I think I'm over here in the left ear. Love the footstep sound effect and this little this little like shuffling across the screen that uh, that um uh David put in. I hear your footsteps. <laughs> that's incredible. Oh, that's incredible. I hear your footsteps. This is me singing the bass line. There's a number of nice uh very relaxed C2s in here. This side, I remember I had to record this one 
I like didn't get a chance to use morning voice except for this the C sharp one subs and the C sharp one two with it right at the end. There's a very clear moment I'll point out. The rest of it was without was without any morning voice. So I'm like pretty happy that I, I was actually able to under the time constraints still sing a nice down to a nice relaxed C2. So listen to this next bass line. That is your boy. That was a nice little falsetto operatic moment for me there. There's little moments like that where it goes this like operatic thing. I'm doing an opera thing. Tommy's doing a sustained thing. And then we have this cool little tiny moment of bell tones cascading down. That is bonkers. Whatever <laughs> happening here in the editing. <laughs> and now it's a graveyard. Oh, now it's I don't I don't think it was a graveyard earlier. This this model. Is that really just us? It looks so much creepier. Yeah, it is because the eyes pop so much because of the eye because the eyeliner. I thought it was like some weird skeleton being um <laughs> Look at this being like superimposed upon each frame. There are there are a million golden screenshots to be had of this piece. God. God, that's so good with the with the with the keyhole or with the uh the what do you call that thing? The little hole in the hotel doors. Spyglass. I don't know. From me, I'm coming. Knock, knock. That's great with Lauren with Lauren on each on each side. I am not sure. Also, this 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 bass solo from with from Bobby and Marwan kills me. I just like they sound so good. Get high from me, I'm coming. Knock, knock. I am not sure. Now I am coming in. No need for me to ask for me. Face gang flag, yes, let's go. No need for me to ask permission. Can you see it? Not dive inside your room now. Little major moment, uh, switching from minor to major that Marlon put in, fitting that we have some kind of weird like pol poltergeist vibe there. Not, not dive inside your room now. Where is it you hit? Our game of hide and seek about to Absolutely insane. So that's Marwan there on a C sharp one sub to get it started. And I think there's just there's a lot of C sharp one subs in this section. Our game of hide and seek about to The robot that was another Anything you see us all doing together, like specific movements, that's all planned by Marwan. That were in very specific instructions in the in the uh, storyboard shot guide. So thus, so for those that C sharp one sub to C sharp two, super thick chest, back to C sharp one sub. That was the only thing I got to do with morning voice. Quick story about how I did that. I was actually in Hot Springs, Virginia, completely off grid with some of my mates. And we, of course, did like a fair amount of drinking and unhealthy shenanigans the night before. And I woke up with like crazy bass notes. And I knew I was like, I didn't have access to the parts, but I remembered I had to sing some kind of C sharp one line that like, and then it's some C sharp two. So I sang like a bunch of different variations of it. And thankfully, I managed to record like the right way to do it. And that's what I used for this. So I was like completely out in the middle of nowhere. And I literally recorded in my bathroom on my iPhone before any of the other guys were up that next morning. Just a really funny tidbit of how I was able to record like probably my thickest C sharp one sub and C sharp twos like in chest 
pretty much ever recorded. Just listen to these bad boys. I mean that is, that is not that is not normal for me. Another operatic moment that Marlon wanted to throw in. I mean, I realize I'm highlighting my parts more than the other guys, and that's because you get really familiar with your own parts doing this, and I they're so complicated I couldn't hope to pick out every single other guy's part. And within just the context of half an hour. So I'm just I'm highlighting more of what I'm doing here um, just because I know it better. Um, this was a, another operatic, the second operatic moment of the piece where Marwan was messaged me and he was like, hey, dude, can you sing up to a high A in full operatic fashion? And I was like, of course, I said yes. But it was it was difficult to record. And it was also coming off what might have been COVID or what might have been just a cold. But like my voice wasn't quite back up to strength yet. Still managed to crank it out, and it, and and I'm pretty satisfied with how it sounds because a high A is that's that's a, that's way higher than I would ever sing in like standard operatic bass repertoire. So it's I usually warm up that high in my warm ups. It's not not even usually I like occasionally warm up that high just to kind of stretch my range, but it's it's not like what I would call usable, not in an operatic sense. But Marlon wants the high A in op, in operatic fashion, so I was like, all right, bro. I'm going to give you a high A. So it goes from like C-sharp one subs to like high A opera real quick. And this, like her picking up each of us as she's finding us, incredible. That was one of the centerpiece plans for the video. Um, I guess because of the angle of how my camera was set up, it looks like my legs are like half the length they should be. But I remember this is one specific thing we wanted was to like act like a weird doll so that at some point Lauren could control us like marionettes. That's the whole idea behind um, how we're, these are supposed to be like basically the wooden jaws of a marionette doll. <clears throat> um, but this this was like one of the the main featured ideas for the video, um, and it's just amazing that it actually got pulled off and looks looks really cool. I mean, I am I I'm like an absolute lunatic here because you got to go all in for this stuff. Very poltergeisty. And Lauren getting up to. Let me. Why is she getting up? Mm. C sharp six, I believe. Yeah, C-sharp six there for Lauren. Amazing, stretched out. <sighs> guys, guys, guys. Absolutely <laughs> insane, man. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Absolutely insane. And also that last section, there's much more emphasis on the whisper tracks. Super cool. Um, I remember one mix that got sent in where more it was more melodically focused, and Marvin was like, no, no, no. We want whispers, baby, because whispers are super creepy. Um, I am so thrilled and satisfied with how this project turned out. I it's again one of those things. It's like how I feel with my my music my music video for Enemy that's coming out in just a few weeks. Like 
whenever I watch it, I'm, I just like can't believe it's. I'm like that is me on screen with these amazing people doing super cool stuff. And I'm gonna watch this one a lot on repeat, probably because there's it's it's everything that I could have hoped. It's everything like I just getting emotional. Just imagining like literally what is it less than a year and a half ago we dropped our first ep like therefore i am was our first song is still on my channel as the bass gang and we have come we've gone from that to this in like a year and a half that is absolutely ridiculous um <clears throat> to do anything more advanced than this we're going to start really needing uh, a, a gargantuan budget we are able to pay through this whole we paid for this whole video um, with relative comfort through the donations we get through Patreon, which is absolutely incredible. This video would not have been possible without Patreon. So guys, if you like this video, definitely go check out the Base Gang Patreon and join. We have a lot of projects coming out over the next year that we already have planned. Um, join my Patreon as well if you want to see more videos like this where I break stuff down musically. Um, but like really go join the Base Gang Patreon because if if we get you know, two times, three times, four times the monthly donations we have now, we could do videos like this and better for all our videos. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, go throw a few dollars their way each month. It's really, it's just like when you break it down budget wise, same for my Patreon. It's like just skip buying Starbucks one day out of the month and literally just a coffee skip give up one Starbucks coffee for a month and you can pay for a Patreon subscription to support creators like me and like the base gang. Big brain stuff. Uh, guys, this is Hide and Seek featuring Lauren Paley. Um, I'm so honored to be a part of this. I can't even fully express it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me enjoy. Uh, my heart is very full right now. I'm going to go tell the boys how much I love them and uh, probably send Lauren a message as well to thank her for joining us. So that's it, guys. Um, next week, something, or later this week, either one, something very exciting. I've done a full album review and first time listen to Tommy P's latest album, Phase of Bass. Um, it's, not all, it's, it's all audio, so it's just looking at the streaming service because, of course, he doesn't have music videos, but it's the first time I've done a full album breakdown and review, so... If you want to hear more Tommy P, more ba more bass vocal content, more analysis from me, go check that out. But guys, that's it for me. You're the best. If the camera's still running, I'm pointing at you. Hi, I love you. You're awesome. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.